What's good, gang? It's Imani Blaze here, and I'm back with another video, shimidio. Um, Y'all just gonna get ready with me. I'm about to get ready to head to the studio to teach my Sunday evening classes. And yeah, I just finished recording a podcast episode on safe people. And that's what we're gonna talk about right here. And if you want to like go a little bit more into detail, you can check out the podcast episode that I will link in the description. But I just want to talk about the importance of having safe people around when you are healing. Um, for a long time, I had people who were not safe around me and as a result I felt like there like I'm aware that there are things that I need to heal there are parts of me that I need to work on but being around people who aren't safe make you makes you feel like well makes me let me speak for me because y'all know how I get down here on this channel I speak openly honestly but I don't even know why I'm about to do my edges. I just washed my hair and I'm just trying to... <laughs> I speak openly and honestly about all things mental health. Um, and I speak on my life as a way to just be a living testimony and speak to you in your life. Um, so let me just speak on me and not say you. But for me... Being around unsafe people made me feel like I was crazy for a really long time. Like, pe like for example, I would open up to women about dealing with depression, dealing with anxiety. I would explain to them how it shows up and they would still judge me, cancel me, discard me, even though I explained to them how these things show up in my body, how these things show up in our interactions. So I already said, for example, but I'm gonna say it again. For example, if you don't text me back, I'm I'm better with it now through healing. But a couple years ago, like I would start friendships off by letting you know, like, so these are my triggers. And if you do this, this or this, I'm gonna feel like this. So when it comes to, if we're having a, I'm not gonna say bigger match, but like if we're, we're trying, we're talking through something or we're not agreeing on something, we're not seeing eye to eye. And I text you, you know, about like how I'm feeling and you don't hit me back. I'm going to just, I'm gonna go on this spiral. I'm, I'm gonna tell myself all these different scenarios in my brain when really it probably is just you need some space so you're not ready to talk about it. I will communicate that it's important to me to have people around that can just communicate that, like that can say, hey, I'm not ready to talk right now. I'm not ignoring you, but I'm not, I'm not ready to talk right now. I didn't have people like that around me and so folks would just ignore me, not, not folks, I'm saying, yeah, not folks. I, I don't practice these videos, y'all know that. <laughs> but like the people around me, the people closest to me, they would ignore me and then I would react. My way of reacting would be uh, subliminal messages on my Instagram story. You know I'm reacting to the fact that you're not hitting me back. But instead of like being real about that and knowing like, okay, she she's triggered. She let me know that this is what happens when I do this or this was this is what will happen if, if I do this. Fuck it, I'm gonna cancel her. She's doing too much. I'm not even, I'm not gonna communicate. As a result, when that would happen, before actually healing like I would really go into this whole spiral like something's wrong with me I'm always pushing people away like 
I'm the problem. When really, these folks just aren't safe. These folks are not safe. When you are dealing with trauma, when you are healing trauma, you need safe people around. You need people who are willing to understand you. You need people who are willing to be like, um, who are able to like see you for who you really are, not for who you are when you're triggered or when you're moving through an anxiety attack or something like that. Like you need folks who are willing to learn you who are willing to understand you and who are willing to be by your side as you learn to become a better version of yourself. As I said in the podcast episode, this does not mean that you walk all over people and you just expect people to just deal with you and your mess because you're dealing with trauma. No, but if you are actively committed to healing Yes, you deserve some grace. You deserve people who understand like she's she's healing. She's learning. So, save people. You need them. If you're dealing with people who ignore you, who give you silent treatment, who judge you for where you are right now, those people aren't safe. And you need to get from around them because they're going to keep making you think that you're the problem when, yeah, you might be part of the problem, but you're not the problem and they're adding to the problem by not being safe for you. But I mean, after a certain point, you can't blame them. You can only blame yourself for what you're choosing to deal with and keep in your life. So that's that on that. As I said, I did do a, a podcast episode going a little bit further into detail about what I'm talking about. So I'll drop the link to that in the description and go ahead and check that out. If you have not already, subscribe to this thing, like this video, share this video. I'm still trying to pop off in this YouTube algorithm. Don't know when it's gonna happen. I just know I gotta keep producing the things them. Sorry if my squeaky chair annoyed you throughout the video but it's vintage and I'm not getting rid of it <laughs> I love you I mean it